Hey there and welcome to another tutorial for the LXL Core 3 Maths A Level Syllabus. In this video I'm going to show you how to differentiate the natural logarithm function. Taking a look at the scheme of work, we have done all the following and in this video I'm going to show you how to differentiate natural logarithm which is y is equal to ln x. We still have sin x, cos x, tan x and there's some of differences to go. Okay, um, let's start by considering the natural logarithm function and what it actually is. You should know from your previous work in previous chapters that the natural logarithm function is the inverse of the function f of x is equal to e of x, e to the power of x, sorry. So I'm just going to re-show that to you in case you don't know. So if f of x is e to the x, what is f to the minus 1 of x. What is the inverse function of this? Well, from our functions chapter, we uh, solve the following by you let y uh, replace f of x, you say y is equal to e of x, and you try and make x the subject of the formula. So the best thing to do there would be to take log base e's of both sides. So I'm going to take log base e of y, and I'm going to take log base e of e to the power of x. I can bring down this power using my log rule. I can bring down this x to the front so it's multiplying and I can therefore say that log base e of y is equal to x multiplied by log base e of e. Well log base e of e must be equal to 1 okay? because e to the power of 1 is equal to e so therefore we have that x is equal to log base e of y and we have x as the subject of the formula. In our original, y was the subject, we put an x value in, we get a y value out. Now x is the subject, I put a y value in, I get the x back I started with. So this is the inverse function, but we write it in the end, instead of uh, having x there, we call that f to the minus 1 of x, the inverse function, and we replace y's with x's. So the inverse function is log base e of x. That's the inverse function. And actually, uh, we write log base e as ln e, natural logarithm of e. And I'm going to swap these so they're the other way around. f to the minus 1 of x, the inverse function, is ln e. And ln is short for log to the base e. Okay, and so if that's our original function, that is our inverse. So ln x and e to the x are inverse functions of each other, and that's what the natural logarithm function is all about. If I pull up autograph just to check this is the case, if I put uh, autograph here, and I say I draw the graph y is equal to e to the power of x, you should know what that looks like, y equals e to the power of x, uh, looks like so. And if I was to draw in, uh, I'm just going to say that's y is e to the x. If I also draw in y is equal to x, the graph y is equal to x, um, then if the two graphs are inverses of each other, then uh, they're a reflection of each other in the line y is equal to x. So let's check that's actually true. So I'm going to draw the graph y is equal to ln x. And hopefully it's clear for you to see there that they are in fact inverses of each other. So this is the graph of uh, y equals ln x. And that is clearly a reflection of the graph y is equal to e to the x in the line y it equals x. Uh, so they're clearly reflections of each other and so they are in fact inverse functions as I suggested it with the algebra previously. Okay next, um, the natural logarithm function. How would you differentiate this? So imagine you're starting with your function y is equal to uh, ln x, okay, log base e of x. So y is equal 
to log base E of X. Okay, how on earth would you differentiate that? We don't know how to differentiate logs currently. Well, you could convert it to exponential form. What I mean by this, if, say for example, I always remember this here, you, I can rub this out afterwards. I remember that 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. That's the same statement, uh, the base here is 2, the base number is 2. That's the same statement as saying log base 2 of 8 is 3. They're the same as each other. Okay, so I always remember this one. I always find this one handy to have in, uh, have uh, in my armory because it helps me remember the log and the exponential, how they're related to each other. So if I've got the function y is equal to log base e of x, that is equivalent to the statement that is the exact same using this here as the statement e to the power of y is equal to x. Okay, so this statement and this statement are equivalent. So if I'm trying to differentiate this, if I differentiate this instead, it's the same thing. Well, can I differentiate this? Well, yes, I can differentiate this with respect to y. I can differentiate with respect to y. Now, so I'm going to differentiate both sides with respect to y. If I differentiate e to the y with respect to y, well, the exponential stays as it is. I get e to the y. If I differ differentiate x with respect to y, I get dx by dy. Now, you should remember from one of the videos I previously did on differentiation, if I know dx by dy, I know dy by dx is 1 over this. It's like the flip of it. So it's 1 over e to the y. Well, e to the y was x. I, I, I have that up here. So therefore dy by dx is 1 over x. So, if, our, if we have a function y is equal to log base e of x or ln x, then the differential dy by dx is always 1 over x. And there is our proof of it. And here is uh, the rule written down. If y is equal to ln x, log base e of x, then dy by dx is always 1 over x. Original function, y equals ln x. Gradient function, dy by dx is always 1 over x. Okay. Now, um, that's a rule that we have to remember. The next, we, ha we need to extend this and we need to consider what happens when you try to differentiate something like y equals ln of f of x, some function of x. For example, what would you get when you try to differentiate y is equal to log, sorry, ln of x squared or something, or ln of x squared plus 1, say, something like that. How would you differentiate that? Well, you use the chain rule. Uh, you would let, as we've always done in the class, u equal f of x, so that uh, y is equal to ln u. Then you would differentiate and you would say that du dx is f dash dx and dy by dx or dy by du even is 1 over u using this rule over here and using the chain rule dy by dx is equal to dy by du times du by dx just substituting those in you would get yourself f dash x multiplied by 1 over u, but u is f of x, so multiplied by 1 over f of x. And that's like f dash x over 1 times 1 over f of x. So you would get yourself f dash x over f of x. That's your dy by dx. And I've shown you how to get that. And here is the rule. If you have y is equal to ln of f of x, some function of x, then dy by dx is f dash x over, over f of x. It's always the case, okay? So for example, in the one I wrote there, if y was equal to ln x squared uh, plus one, okay? If I want dy by dx, it's the differential of the thing in the brackets, which is two x over the original function inside the brackets x squared plus one. It always works out to be like that. 
Okay, so they're the two rules we need to differentiate the natural logarithm function. Let's do five examples. I suggest you pause the video, try yourself, then watch me do it and check you got the right answer. Here's the first one. Okay, well dy by dx. This 5 is just a number multiplied by ln x, so it's not affecting anything. It's 5 multiplied by the differential of ln x is 1 over x. And that's really like 5 over 1 times 1 over x. So to tidy this up, this would be equal to 5 over x. Next one. Differentiate y is equal to ln of 6x minus 1. Well, dy by dx, this is of the form y equals ln f of x. So therefore, the differential is f dash x. This here is our f of x, remember. So f dash x, the differential of this is 6 over the original function, which is 6x subtract 1. Simple as that. Okay, next one. How would I differentiate this? Well, this is a product. That is like my u, that there is like my v. And I'm trying to differentiate uh, y is equal to uv where they're functions of x. You remember that the derivative using the product rule is uv dash plus v u dash. So write out u, u and your v. u is x cubed, therefore u dash is 3x squared. v uh, is equal to ln x and v dash is 1 over x, 1 over x. Okay, so dy by dx therefore is uv dash, so it's x cubed multiplied by 1 over x, plus uh, v u dash, which would be ln x, multiplied by 3x squared. Okay, let's tidy this up a little bit here x cubed times 1 over x is like x cubed over 1 times 1 over x. One of the x's cancel, so I would be just left with x squared plus um, 3x squared ln x, just rearranging the way I wrote that. And I could, just to tidy uh, things up a little bit, I could factorise factorize out an x squared if I wanted to, and that would be 1 plus 3 ln x. And that would be my dy by dx, and I'd be done. Okay, next one. How would I differentiate this? Well, this is a quotient. That's y is some function u divided by some other function of x, v. u divided by v. And you should remember the quotient rule that says that dy by dx is v u dash minus u v dash all over v squared. Okay, so... What is uh, our u is ln of 5x. So our u dash is the differential of this, which is 5, over the original function, which is 5x. And the 5s end up cancelling. So actually we just get 1 over x. So u dash is 1 over x. v is equal to x. And so v dash is equal to 1. Now it's a substitution game dy by dx is vu dashed, so that's x multiplied by 1 over x. Subtract uv dashed, so that's ln 5x multiplied by 1, all divided by v squared, which would be x squared. Tidying up, x times 1 over x, well that's like x over 1 times 1 over x, you just get 1, and subtract ln of 5x, all over x squared. And we have found our dy by dx as required. And last example, differentiate the following. Well, we've got ourselves a function we can differentiate and add to the differential of this here, whereas this is a product. So we're gonna to have to use the product rule to differentiate these. And remember how to differentiate ln and e to the x, etc. So, um, let's do everything. Uh, let's just work out the derivative of e to the x ln x first of all. So, um, 
why don't I call uh, u e to the x and I call v ln x. Then u dash is e to the x, e to the x differentiates to itself, and v dash is 1 over x. And just differentiating this here, this would be, so dy by dx, well the difference of 2x is just 2, but you would get yourself plus uh, uv dash plus v u dash, and we just have to substitute in, so that would be 2 for this here, this differentiated to the, this was the um, product rule, so uv dash would be plus e to the x, 1 over x, and then it would be plus v u dash, which would be ln x, uh, multiplied by e to the x. And what we could do then is we could keep the 2 there, we could probably factorise that in e to the x, and we would have uh, 1 over x plus ln x. And that there is our derivative, dy by dx, and we're done. And that's everything we need to know about how to differentiate um, the natural logarithm function. If y is equal to ln x, dy over dx is 1 over x. If y is equal to ln of a function f of x, then dy over dx is f dash x over f of x. The derivative inside the ln brackets divided by the actual function inside the ln brackets. Just to finish with and tidy this topic up, I suggest you read chapter 8, page 114 41, and do all of the questions in exercise E. Thank you for watching.